Hello, good to see you. My name is Tony FM DNA, back for some more low league tactical masterclass. Partner with Passion for FM. For all your FM needs, please go check out the website. It will be in the description below. So will the write up for this is on their website with loads of other great stuff. Strikerless tactic. Last year in FM21, strikerless tactics were OP. There were so many great strikerless tactics. I love creating a strikerless tactic. It was amazing. FM22 has not been the game for strikerless tactics, but I'm giving it a go. Why not? It's coming to the end. We're about a month away to FM23. You shall not pass. I'm testing out with three teams. Bolton in Skybet League 1. Tramir Rovers in Skybet League 2. And Eastley in the Vanner on National League. So you've seen all three teams best of them without restrictions. If you want to download this tactic, it will be in the description below. But if you can't download it for any reason, we will run over it but later on in the video. Now, let's check out the results. So we're staying with Eastley in the Vanner on the National League. And their season preview to finish 17th in the league. They're nowhere near favourites to go up. They're 25 to 1 to win the league. If I take a look at the competitions wise, we got knocked out in the second round of the FA Cup against Wrexham. We got knocked out in the fourth round of the Builder Base FA Trophy against Bournemouth FC. But in the league, we finished third, which is not bad considering we've season pre finished 17th. But the best thing about it, we won the playoffs. We got promotion, which is the main thing. In the semi final, we beat Chesterfield 3 0. And then in the final, we played Yeovil and beat them 1 0. Like I said, promotion is the main aim. 13 points away from Notts County. Notts County, Rexburn, Wrexham, Stockport County are the best teams in that league. So for us to be in the mix is very, very good. Goals-wise, the goals are spread about. 17 goals, 16 goals, 13 goals, 13 goals. We're scoring a lot, a lot of goals. If I go back and look at uh, average rating-wise, Andrew Boyce is the best performer at the club with a 7.48. We do have a few other guys on there, which is good. Clean sheets is amazing. We are top with 23, which is very good indeed. Team overview, what are we top at? Most points per game, we're top with 97. We're top most tackles, one. But this, best pass completion, we're second with 91%. We're so high up there. Normally in tactics that I test, when pass completion... The tactics are normally lacking. Normally I skip past it, but not this tactic. Your pass completion will be very, very high. 91%. So far, obviously, I think that's very good. Getting promotion from the Van Arman National League. Season preview to finish 17th. Finishing third. Very good. Now, let's check it out with Tramier Ravers. So we're on their competition screen and we are champions. 105 points. Golden to 60. We lost 5. We drew 9 and we won 32 Got knocked out in the second round of the FA Cup against Oxford United. Got knocked out of the first round of the Carabao Cup against Ackland and Stanley. Who are they? And then got knocked out in the northern section third round by Sunderland in the Papa John's Trophy. But it's all about the league. And like I said, we're champions with 105 points. Good goal difference as well. Goals wise, very, very good. 24 goals, 15 goals. A lot of goals. We're scoring a hell of a lot of goals. So it's going to be a lot, a lot of fun. But not only that, we're going to be very good as well. Average rating-wise, what do we have? We have the top performer at the club in the league, so I say, a 7.49, 7.36. And we have a fair few players on there. Really, really well. Clean sheets, what do we have? 19 clean sheets. We're not top, but it's not too bad. Team overall view, what are we top at? Most points per game, we're top with a 2.28. Most goals, top with 102 goals. Considering we're not playing the striker up front, I think that's pretty good. Fewer shots against as well. 430. Best pass completion. 92%. We're top. Like I said, tactics are test. Pass completion. We normally skip past this, but not this tactic. Most possession. 59%. We're top. Really, really good. It's done really well with Eastley. Done really well with Tramian Rovers. Now, let's just check it out with Bolton. Okay, before we check out bottom one of the results, let's run over this tactic now. So what do we have? In goal, we have a sweeper keeper on support. We've got inverter wing back support on the left hand side. We've got a ball playing defender on defend. There will be some added on instructions, so pause it when need be. We've got another ball playing defender on defend. Inverter wing back support on the right hand side. A Roman playmaker on support. You know I love a Roman playmaker. I cannot leave him out of a tactic. We've got a box to box and field on support. We've got a central midfielder attack. We've got an inside forward attack on the left hand side. We've got a shadow striker attack through the middle. And on the right hand side, we've got a winger attack. 
It's a custom tactical style, tactical tick attacker, mentality positive, in possession, what do we have? Attacking with fairly wide, underlap through the left, underlap on the right, pass and directness much shorter, tempo much higher, time wasting never, low crosses, work the ball into the box, play for set pieces, and that seems to be about it. In transition, what do we have? Counter press, counter, dispute to full backs, dispute to centre backs, take short kicks, out of possession, what do we have? High line of engagement, standard defensive line, defensive whip standard, trigger press much more often, prevent short goal kick distribution and get stuck in. Now, let's check out Bottom Wonders results. So we're going to start with the FA Cup. They got knocked out of the second round against Sheffield Wednesday. They got knocked out of the third round of the Carabao Cup against Southampton, a Premier League team. They got knocked out the northern section of Doncaster Rovers and the Papa John's Trophy. We are champions. We will get to it. 84 points. A goal difference of 27. Very, very close. We lost 12. Drew 9. We won 25. The main aim is to become champions. We've done it. Goals-wise, a little bit less than the other two teams. 14 goals here, 13 goals there. Not bad, but we're champions. That's the main thing. Best form for us, Ricardo Santos with a 7.34. Uh, clean sheets, what do we have? 13 clean sheets, joint 11th, but it doesn't matter. Main thing is champions. We're champions. It's very close. It's a tough league, Sky Bet League 1. Most points per game, we have got a 1.83. It's a little bit low. Most goals were top with 86 goals. And that's it. But best pass completion, 91%. Again, like I keep saying, pass completion, some of the tactics that I test out, you don't see it as high as this. Nowhere near. You not even sometimes even see it on there. So this tactic is so good for pass completion. And not even bad for possession as well. Most possession, 54%. We're in fifth place. That is it. That's the tactic in a nutshell. This is the final tactic for our lower league tactical masterclass. I hope you've enjoyed it. Please, like I say, go check out the website, Passion for FM. The next episode for this series will be them all facing against each other. Which one out of the lot is the best of the best? That will be in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't go and check out the website. Please check out other videos on my channel. But that is it for me, guys. And I will see you in the next video.